is a special reading. This is where is Venus in your natal chart? Okay, so there's a Venus retrograde going on. And it's going on in Capricorn. Shout out to Capricorn. It's happy belated birthday. <laughs> and um, now it's in Aquarius. Happy birthday to all the Aquarius is out there. Happy Aquarius season. And so find where Venus is in your natal chart. It could be an air sign. It could be an earth sign. It could be in a fire sign. It could be in a water sign. Who knows? But this is a reading. So if it's if I'm mentioning Aries, I'm mentioning that you have Aries, a Venus in Aries. If I'm mentioning uh, Cancer, that means you have your Venus in Cancer. All right. And this is what's going to tell you what's going to be going down. And February 14th is coming up. So some people celebrate Valentine's Day, some people don't. You do what you do. <clears throat> but everybody wants to know about love, right? Everybody wants to know about love. Even if you are in love, you're still looking to see about, you know, what's present, what's in the future, etc. Why you in this type of love. So people want to be loved, especially for the past two years with all this separation, you know, um, being forced upon everybody and all that good stuff. Um, it's keeping people separate and we're going to be seeing the consequences of that soon, okay? And we're already seeing the consequences of it, but it's going to get worse, okay? If, if everything keeps going the way it's going. So, at this point, people are looking for love, want love, want to improve love. Um, may say, hey, I don't want to love a person, but love a person, a particular thing, a particular, um, project that I want to do that, um... I love, you know, get into something I love, whatever it is, or it just to increase your love, you know, maybe you feel like uh, you're just cold as ice, you know what I mean? So, and, and Capricorn to Venus and Capricorn, is, it can kind of feel like that, it really can, because Cap is a cold place, <laughs> it's a cold place, so imagine Venus in a cold place. You know, unless she dipped out in her furs and whatnot, you know what I mean? She, she minked out and whatnot. And for all the, the um, animal people, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it was back in the day. And now that we got new technology, you can go with the fox fur. You know what I'm talking about? So, um, you know, this is that time for everybody, you know, for the next, um, you know, 15 days. You know what I mean? So, and then after that hits Valentine's Day, so some realizations is going to be done. Some things are going to be coming to an end. You know what I mean? Some things are going to be set in stone. Some boundaries are going to be drawn. Some structures and organization and relationships is going to be done. You know, with everybody's going to be more looking to that long-lasting type stuff. Foundational, strong, can't nothing break it. You know, people would want that. And if they don't want that, they are not willing to sacrifice. Okay? So, um... And if you are in a relationship or whatever, you're trying to fill out, how can I, you know, separate? Because this is just not right. You know what I mean? This is not practical, <laughs> you know? So it's it's in the air. So if you're feeling like that, no matter what your Venus is in, whatever zodiac sign your Venus is, it's just the overall energy, period. And it's sitting there. So it want, it's like rubbing it in, you know? It's like somebody putting um, salt on a wound. You know, it's going to burn. You know, you might want to punch the person for doing that. Or somebody crack, put something back in place and they got to snap it. And it was painful for that two seconds. But, oh my gosh, after, you know, you settled in, everything is cool. You know, so it's kind of like that right now. So, um, it's tough love. <laughs> That's another way to put it, tough love. So let's get started into everybody's reading. Um, this is going to be Venus and whatever Venus is in your chart, that zodiac sign. Hey, okay, this message is for Venus in Libra for the retrograde of Venus being in Capricorn. So you have your hands full already and you might be turning away opportunities because you already know your plate is full. Like, okay, these cups in front of me are full and you know, I can't take them all even though it's a good opportunity. But if I do, then I might end up knocking over these three cups. So let me just wait and see, or let me just say no, period. So 
you're looking at different opportunities, whether it's in people, places, or things, and it's um, other things are being handed to you. It might be people coming back from the past, but you're saying no, you know, because you've been hurt by them in the past, and nothing seemed to, you, you know, when you know, when you know it's just not going to work anymore. That could be happening, or you could be in that situation, and you're still trying to think, okay, should I go back? Should I this? And this, that, and the other. So you're going within to figure out what is good and what is not good for you. Because all opportunities are not necessarily good opportunities for you. Especially if you want to be in a certain place or have certain goals. Things like that. You have to look at things around you that's being presented to you or offered to you. Whatever that may be. And look at the consequences for your decisions in the long run. And that takes some internal work. It takes some grounding. It takes some, you know, going within see what yourself truly feels that it needs to do and what it needs to accept and what it needs to say no to. Have a wonderful day and night, Libra and Venus.